We have finally reached the 12th fight of the Purgatory vs Kangen tournament, the almighty Wild Tiger vs the Toad Fei. As someone who was predicting Lo Long vs Waka for the longest time, I found this to be very surprising, but regardless, today I'm going over my predictions and what we know about the two fighters. Let's begin with Fei who I still believe is the Tiger Vessel. Let me explain by first reading this panel. Then there's the Toad Fei Wang Fang. He's a master of Ren Clan Tai Chi. He joined Purgatory two years ago and defeated one of the previous Demon Fists and of course took his title. Then we have this panel that directly says or states the Tiger Vessel is fighting for Purgatory with his name being question marks. And we also had the dark figure representing the TV appear during the tournament. And to be precise, during the Naden fight, we know thanks to prior information, he has shown the one to kill Ryuki due to wanting to be the only Tiger Vessel and that may somewhat mess up. We don't know the specifics, but he wants to kill Ryuki. And once Naden revealed he's a worm and got Ryuki's attention, the dark figure appeared. Of course, the Tiger Vessel will be triggered and would want to know what's going on because he didn't know Naden was a worm and hadn't been told about this from the head or anything like that. Kind of messing up his initial plan to most likely kill Ryuki, but still stays undercover. Before I continue, make sure you're subscribed, and if you're an absolute mad lad, check out the other stuff in the description, like the Discord and Patreon. Now, back to the video. As I mentioned before, Faye joined Purgatory two years ago, which lines up quite well with the likely time frame the Tiger Vessel could have joined. The time frame could be irrelevant, as the Tiger Vessel could have joined any time. For example, we know Lo Long has been part of Purgatory for longer than 15 years. Has the Tiger Vessel been part of Purgatory for longer than that, and is actually Lo Long? I don't really think so, but it is a possibility, so you can't completely draw it out, but I just feel it's very unlikely. The Tiger Vessel is most likely a Chinese fighter due to most of the worm being Chinese, and of course, Fei Chinese fighter very clearly. This panel with Fei talking some shit to Lo Long, which in my opinion is heavy Tiger Vessel energy, showing absolute confidence and his walkout, again, confidence. His fighting outfit looks very similar to Zia G or Nikado Ren's, but as we know, Zia G, Chinese member of Worm, Nikado Ren, another Chinese fighter in the Kangniverse. It could be just a Chinese fighting outfit, but still wanted to point that out. Ever since the start of the tournament, out of all the Purgatory fighters, he's been one of the most low-key that hasn't really said too much until the later rounds where he's one of the only remaining fighters. So yeah, quite mysterious. His stated martial art, which is Ren Clan Tai Chi, which may have a connection to the Nikko style according to this pretty top tier post on the Kanganashira subreddit. It'll be linked in the description. Again, this could be incorrect because I personally don't have knowledge about the specifics of this martial art, but I'll just summarize what it says. It talks about Tai Chi being a soft martial art with flowing movements, meaning it's possible Fei could have disguised it for the Nikko style redirection Carter and could only be using this to hold his position in Purgatory, of course heavily holding back. And if you don't know, the Tiger Vessel is meant to have full mastery of the Nikko style and able to use the advance with no drawbacks. That's what he's meant to be, but I do personally have a theory that the Tiger Vessel can't use Demon's Bane and the only people in the verse who can use Demon's Bane is Gai Mukaku, Oma's Nikko and Oma and potentially Garuki, but not too sure about that. But that's my own personal theory that I talked about in my formless verse uh, Nikko style video I uploaded a while back. But yeah, that's just something I wanted to point out. His known Purgatory wins are two, one against the previous unnamed Demon Fist and one against Dong Chen and one lost against Dong as well, but I'm guessing he has a few more wins on characters from Purgatory we haven't seen yet, or maybe some other fighters on Team Purgatory will most likely hopefully learn at some point later in the Kangen Omega story. So yeah, I'm still on the path that phase the Tiger Vessel. If I'm wrong, I'll hold that huge L, but that's what I'm still going for until it's proved otherwise. And I forgot to mention it, he does look quite similar to the likes of Oma and Roki as well, which is just another blatant connection to them. Now, of course, we have our mutant Waka. No doubt he's been doing some insane training after getting another defeat by the hands of Oma during the Annihilation Tournament. Regardless of his training, his mutant muscles will always grow, so he's by default stronger I'd assume. Maybe he'll have a developed blast core, or maybe alongside improved grappling, something like an all-around boost. I don't think he'll have a brand new technique considering the blast core is still kinda being perfected. 
Something that will be major is he somehow fixed his ankle that he got from Kano 10 years ago at this point, but considering he had that 8 years after getting it, I don't think it's something he can really fix at this point. But yeah, maybe some other way to allow himself to use more blast calls or maybe just something else he can use which would be pretty cool. Now how do I think this fight will go? First I'll go over what I think is going to happen but I personally don't want this to happen. We're going to have Fei using his Chinese martial art we already got stated that he knows to try and defeat Waka and we'll see that it's failing. We already saw Waka overcome the Nikko style in Ashura against Oma, except for Demon's Bane of course, but you know, no one can really directly counter Demon's Bane. So Fei will be using his Tai Chi, won't be able to really do anything to Waka, and will realise he can only be comparable or win this if he pulls out the full Nikko style or pulls out something like the Advance. And I do think it's possible for Fei to keep his cover, he will actually get himself to lose or actually just give up mid-fight pull like a mutable or something because I just have a feeling he doesn't want to blow his cover as he still wants to potentially kill Ryuki or have this crazy fight with Oma in the future. Maybe he will reveal his cover and still potentially lose but for some reason I think Wak is going to win this thanks to Faye not going all out or giving up in some way or allowing Waka to land a blow which eliminates him. That's for some reason what I think is going to happen. But now I'll go over what I want to happen. So a similar start, Fei only using his Tai Chi, realizing he can't even touch Waka without pulling out the full Nuka style. Decides to go advance, pull out the Nuka style, and then them two have a crazy fight. We have everyone freaking out, Oma freaking out, Lo Long being like, shit, this guy's on my level or something like that to, you know, hype up Tiger Vessel's power and Lo Long's power as well. Those two clashing and Fei actually defeating Waka or potentially Waka defeating Fei. Or potentially the ultimate outcome that I was predicting that was going to happen between Waka and Lo Long. A draw where it's very clear that as a whole Fei is a better fighter or stronger on like a tier list. But Waka's big brain energy allowed himself to do some type of sacrifice which will prevent him from fighting ever again in the future to pull a draw against Faye, which will be pretty hype. It will make everyone respect Waka to the utmost degree. He'll kinda clown on the Tiger Vessel while showing the readers the Tiger Vessel's power for a future fight against Oma or someone else that we'll get to see. And just an overall crazy ending that no one would see coming. So that's what I really want to happen, but I'm probably more on the side of what I think is going to happen that I talked about earlier. But yeah, that should be everything for today's video guys. As always, shout out to the people who support the channel via the Patreon. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe. And yep, that's it guys. Peace.